Hey guys, welcome to the Shrine of Memories, the very last dungeon of the game. In this dungeon you have these very dangerous monsters, they took three hearts when they hurt you. I mean the red one took take the red ones take three hearts and the blue ones two hearts. So um here take your lamp and when you light a torch um it makes this platform appear I love that music. I love it. <laughs> Oops. It's dangerous to use the biggest shoes here. Smokey! <laughs> okay. Let's continue this way. We don't have the large key, of course. And we end up here. Don't go there, there's just nothing. <laughs> it's just a very difficult platform to walk on. But there's nothing after it. Use your small key here. Then take, of course, the hookshot. And there is a button here that opens the door. Okay, in this room you have four buttons and no hint, but after a few tries there are not a lot of combinations. Actually you have to to activate the switches um, in the clockwise order. You can start by any switch of the of the four switches. It's not working with the hookshot. So let's turn the the crystal switch to blue. It will be useful. It's a trap! It's a trap, but you get an interesting chest. 300 rupees! How wonderful! And now we have enough money to buy the giant bomb bag. I couldn't buy it before because I was not rich enough. Hurry up! 
Hurry up, Link! Okay. Yet another teletransporter's maze. And I don't know why, but this particular maze... I, I'm never able to, to remember the solution. Okay. Mm, this one? No. <laughs> Not this one. So this one. Yes! Okay, in this puzzle, when you activate a switch, it changes the color of its two neighbors, okay? I mean, of its neighbors. Because this one has three neighbors. And um, it doesn't change the switch itself. You see, this one stays blue. Anyway, it's very easy. Just change um, the, two s the two switches in the middle. So now we are trying to get back. Mm. No. Okay. I think it's no, it's this one. Yes. I love that music. I'm in love with that music. <laughs> it's the south southern shrine of Link's Awakening. So I just activated the the buttons again clockwise. This clockwise pattern will be useful again later in the dungeon. Mm, there is nothing we can do here because we don't have the large key. And in this room we are just stuck. Okay, um, we have changed the crystal switches to blue, so we can pass the blue ones. And if you remember the beginning of the dungeon, there are blue, blue blocks just here. So let's go. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, a bomb! <laughs> oh, magic. Thank you. You're so nice. Ah! These ones are strong. Die, big soldiers! No! <laughs> ah! Um. And you really have to kill them because you need this small key. Okay, um, you cannot pass this for now. And this room is very interesting because... Um, it's very interesting because 
there is a, a door um, in the there is this door that requires the large key. But the funny thing is that we we were in the other room before. Anyway, you will understand later, or maybe you did you already figured out what you have to do. I want the fairy. Yes. Okay, so we have to go this way. This room, um, these rooms actually are very similar to dungeon number six of the Dark World of A Link to the Past. That's why the temple is called the Shrine of Memories. Okay, so use your hookshot this way and then the feather. Actually, no. Let's go this way first. First button. Then change the crystals to red. Second button. Then change it back to blue. Oh no! <laughs> Then get a small key. And then change it back to red. You should go, uh, get very close to the, the hole. You see, it's not so dangerous. Oh! <laughs> Why did I say that? So, get very close to the hole and use the feather. It's another trap! The red guy is the most dangerous, the most dangerous one be because he removes three hearts. Large key! You can open special doors doors and find new treasures. Oops, and where is the large key? You can open the chest and get the red mail. It provides even better protection than the blue mail. So now the red guys, the red pig soldiers, don't remove um, three hearts anymore, but they remove, I think, um, one heart and a half. So you are protected twice better. Mm, and while I'm here... I'm thinking... Yes. Oh! I'm gonna make a small pause in the dungeon because I want for this. This is a video guide and I want to finish 
the game at 100%. So I need the large, the giant bomb bag. The giant bomb bag is the only thing I, I have missed. Hello! Yes, I found the giant bomb bag! So now, um, the, this shop just sells uh, the same things as at the beginning of the game. Once you have uh, purchased the everything, <laughs> when, when, once you have purchased um, the giant bomb bag, the giant quiver, and the giant wallet. Okay, back to the dungeon. Let's continue. You can try to take this shortcut, but it's risky. Oh, yes, good. Okay, so you have to open the l large key door that I just opened. And finish that room. Activate all buttons. Because this is the only way to get to this place. And it's, it's very important because there is a small key. No. Sorry. Okay. Another large key door. And we have finished the first floor. Okay. We did everything in this floor. Let's go to a second one. Let's go this way first. Ah! Okay, so we have to open those chests in the correct order. You see, if you open a wrong chest, um, you know it immediately. So the first one... Oh. The first one, no, first I have to kill you. First one is this one. No! This one? Oh, yes. This one, this one. And I'm not sure. This one? No. <laughs> Maybe this one. Or this one, yes. And the central one for to finish. You found the compass. Okay. So you can see there were there are, there are no uh, no more chests in the first floor. We have really finished that floor. Same thing for the first basement. 
And then we have a few things to do in the remaining floors. That's the last dungeon of the game, so it's quite big. Go clockwise. So, um, you can start with any button and then activate them all clockwise. Just like what we did in the first floor. Okay, so um, this button opens the door, but there are some invisible uh, floors, some invisible sensors that close the door. And to avoid them, you have to take the longest possible path. And here we are! Oh, I'm gonna have a problem. No, it's okay. Haha! <laughs> I love that. And here is the last piece of art of the game! And now, if you didn't miss anything, you should have the maximum number of hearts. 20 hearts. Um, you don't have to go this way, because you can't do anything yet. So, back to the same room. You can push, I think it's this one, yes. Fairies! Okay, um, this room is quite similar to um, the other, another one that we did before. There are some invisible switches. some invisible sensors that close the door. And what you have to do is imagine that those blocks um, form... those blocks are a wall. And uh, the squares next to them are also the same wall. So you cannot pass here or here. You have to imagine that there are a wall. Okay, so let's go that way and this way. And then it's getting um, more complex. But if you make a mistake, you know it immediately, so it's not too hard. And it's done. Okay. Another chest. Small key.
Die! Okay. Federer. So, um, this door takes you here, okay? But we needed the small key to continue the dungeon. Mm, where is the switch? Just here. One. And then um, choose a door like this one. Two. One again. So it was the the wrong one. So two, three, then I think it's this one. No, it's not. One, two, three, four, and then this one. Yes. And the Triforce. <laughs> and those stairs just appeared. Third floor. Oops. I don't remember which one is it. Yes. So, we are on the third floor, in the north part of the third floor. And when you take the teletransporter, you end up in the south part of the same floor, okay? Ooh. Here we don't have a choice. And um, in this room you have to take this option because all of these teletransporters get you back to the beginning of the room 50 rupees, why not? and it's a trap, again! oh! There are a lot of them. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, so, um, we have opened um, both doors, but this one cannot be reached, okay? So we will have to find another way, another way to reach it later. Mm, <laughs> sorry. Ah. No.
I want to kill everybody in this room. Okay, so I think I have to do this. Yes. To the right. To the right. So we have to do that. Then it's this one. To the right again. Down, to the left, to the left, no, to the left, and finally. We open the door. And we are back to a previous room. which allows us to take the second stairs of that room, remember? Small key! And the, there was a locked door just in that room, just here. Oops! Second big chest of the dungeon. You found the magic cape! It will warn you when you are near a weak wall. So, it's not the same magic cape um, as in Link's Awakening in uh, A Link to the Past. It's here in your inventory. And when you pass near a wall that can be destroyed with a, an explosion, you will be warned. Just like that, you can hear a sound. So this wall can be destroyed. And let's, cha let's change that to red. Oh, so, um, what can we do in this room? We can make a chest appear, but there is no time. There is not enough time to reach it. So here is a trick. Another special wall. <laughs> and now it's a lot easier to get to the chest. Small key! Again! And let's use it right away.
And this switch is very funny because it opens two doors at once. <laughs> Okay, in this room we don't have a choice. We are getting closer to the end of the game. Okay, here we have just opened um, a way to come back faster from the entrance of the dungeon. If necessary. Money! I love money! Another crystal switch to change. Let's try to kill the kill them safely. Okay. Another small key. That you can use here. Okay, and okay, you do have to fall in the hole. I wanted to show you that the rest of the room was useless, but anyway, never mind. You have to fall in the hole, and then what is gonna happen? Welcome to the Legend of Zelda! <laughs> the very first one! <laughs> with the new mu music from, Mer from Marine. Of course, it's a, it's a, remi a remix from Legend of Zelda. Hello, Solaris children! <laughs> to defeat Ganon, the torches must be lit clockwise. So this is a hint for the, f the fight to come. I love that music too. And here we are in the same room as before. But we don't have a map for this place, you know? <laughs> the map doesn't know the existence of this place. And yet another small key. Hi! Oh. 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 
She's very easy to kill with the second sword. Okay, see you later, Legend of Zelda. <laughs> so, mm, last puzzle of the game. You seem to be in an infinite... Um, in an infinite place with always the same rooms. Um, what we, what you have to do is look at. Uh, um, when you are in any room, you look at the arrows and you choose the di the direction that corresponds to the biggest numbers of arrows. You see, so here we have one. Two, three, four that indicate to go to the north. So it is the correct direction. Mm, north again. One, two, three, four, you see. And the other arrows, uh, they don't make four. They don't make four. Um, then to the left, to the top again. Actually, the biggest number of arrows is always four. Mm, four to the left, four to the left again, four to the top, Um well, yes, four to the top again, four to the right, and four to the top. It's done! This is a teletransporter that gets you back to the beginning of the dungeon if you need to do stuff like um, buying some uh, red potions or anything. And when you are ready to defeat Ganon, fall in the holes. And here we are. There you are, young Weakling. Weakling? I don't know. I have been waiting for you for a long time now. The time for revenge has finally come. Prepare to die. So let's um, light the torches clockwise. And when you do that, there is this block with a Triforce on it that appears. So take it and throw it to Ganon. Okay, I have missed him. So let's let's uh, light the torches again. And when you reach him, when you reach him, you can hurt him like that. Okay, because he is immobilized for a few seconds. Mm, did I miss? Oh no, okay. The small enemies are nice because they give you hearts and magic and other stuff. Ah! Frack. So now I have to wait. Okay. Another try. Yes. <laughs> he 
He's shooting more and more fire. Okay, and now mm, when you light the four torches, you have th uh, four, thri four switches that appear, and things happen when you activate them. Sometimes you obtain some magic, some hearts, sometimes some monsters. <laughs> um, so I should put the boomerang here and the lamp here. So yes, randomly one of the switches kills all monsters, that just happens. Another one creates a Triforce block, so that's nice for us. And the two other ones, we already saw them before. Um, one of them creates some monsters, and the other one creates some items. Hearts, magic, and, and other stuff. Sometimes. But essentially, hearts and magic, I think. I want that block. No, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> oh, by the way, here is a trick. When you are when you are running, you can traverse the the fire. I will try to show you, like that, you can traverse fire safely. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of, of bats. Mm, which one should I light? It doesn't matter. I need hearts. Thanks. Yes. You will die, Ganon. You will die. Oh. Fairy. Okay, second ferry. Too late. It 
didn't work. Ah. Mm. Oh no! I missed it. Ah. Oh. Okay, I have another fairy and a red potion. Fairies only restore only restore seven hearts. So you should buy red potion. There was a fairy. Too late. Hmm. I should take the potion now. Oof. Just in time. Okay, let's go. I think it should be over soon. I hope. Fast, fast, yes. What? You didn't get immobilized. That's not nice. Okay, let's try again. Yes! Great. I killed everyone. <laughs> I killed... Yeah, ooh! Yes! You're dead! Haha! Ha 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 ha! Ta 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 Congratulations! You finished the game! Chris, thank you! Your victory on evil shows once again that wisdom and justice always triumph over the forces of evil. Thanks to your accomplishments, our world has been restored to its original state. The kingdom of Hyrule is one is whole once again. I must destroy this relic. The power of Solaris is too dangerous. By destroying it, there will be no way to restore the Triforce from its fragments. Even if it is for a good purpose, as you once used it, the evil will always try to reach for it, like Aganim and Ganondorf. With the power of the eight beings created by the Soraya's essence, the relic could break the seal. Now you understand why I must destroy it. And the eight children disappear forever. It's over. The power of the Solaris has vanished forever. The Triforce will remain sealed until time ends. It's finished! And the light world is restored. Yes, that's me. And Metalizer, he did the the two the last two dungeons. Um, bin bin, <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English. In French, is Baba. He did the secret dungeon where you the um, what's his what's the name again? Uh, Skyward Tower. And Mimi, she made 
uh, many maps of the game. The new graphics, uh, like the bosses, were made by New Link. Some other graphics were made by Neovise, Pyronet, and GP. New musics were made by Marine and Metalizer. Marine made the music of the mountains, Mount Terror. She made the music of the Witch Hut, the music of the Shrine of Memories that you could hear in this episode. And she also made the music of the The Legend of Zelda part. I mean the the part of of the Shrine of Memories that takes place in uh, the in the old graphics with the graphics of the, the very old Zelda game. And Metalizer, he did the music of the Skyward Tower. Uh, which is a music, a remix of um, the seventh, the seventh dungeon of Link's Awakening. Um, okay. The story is not <laughs> is not necessarily the the best thing in the game. We are not so proud of it. Anyway, English localization. Thanks to all these guys, you can play the game in English. I know there are still there are still uh, some mistakes, but they are being corrected as we speak. The game was tested by uh, Tib Morwen Benubi One. Also, special thanks to. Uh, these people who also helped. And of course Nintendo. <laughs> Thanks for playing! It's over, it's finished! The end. But I will make another video, I think, for the pieces of heart. The, some of them are, ad, are quite hard to find. Okay guys, thanks for watching this guide. Um, I, I really enjoyed making it. Uh, it was not always easy for me to speak in English, but that was, that was nice. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys, and see you next time. Bye-bye.